What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be looking at the differences between the iPad Mini and the Kindle Fire HD. Before starting it off, let's check out some of the buttons and peripherals that are found on these devices. First starting with the Kindle Fire HD, there is a volume rocker and power button on the top of the device. Also there's a headphone jack. There's a speaker on each side for stereo sound. Uh, HDMI mini and a micro USB and a camera in the front. Now let's look at the iPad mini. iPad mini has a camera in the front, has a power button on the top with a camera right besides it, and also has a volume rocker on the side with a switch for muting or keeping the orient orientation of the screen in a certain position and on the bottom you have two stereo speakers on the same side with Apple's new proprietary plug that's used on all the new iDevices. Now looking at these two devices the first thing you're going to notice is the iPad mini has a bigger screen but the resolution on the iPad mini is only 1064 by 768 while the Kindle Fire HD screen is 1280 by 800 which gives it a much higher resolution than the iPad mini and what you'll notice too is that the operating system on the iPad mini is much easier to navigate around plus it's better to look at than this dull black look the older Kindles used to have a wood background that looked nice that looked like it was a bookcase or book shelving but they I guess for some reason got rid of it. Well next I'll be showing a close-up view of what's the difference in between the resolutions with high-res pictures. Another thing interesting that I wanted to share with you guys is that the iPad screen tends to have more of a bluish hue when the Kindle Fire HD has more of a yellow tint to it. If you can see it here, kind of see it, but yeah, it's noticeable when you're using it. Now we're going to look at the differences between the two devices and their app stores. When you look at the Kindle Fire HD's app store, it kind of goes like this. You scroll down to look at what you want. These are all the games that are on there. There's not as many games as you'd find on the Google Play Store or on the App Store through the iPad. But there is a good amount of selection if you were going to pick up a Kindle. And we go over here and check out the iPads App Store. And you can see, instead of scrolling down, you scroll sideways. And in the middle, there's advertisements for like new releases and stuff like that. I also like the top feature where it's like you're moving pieces of paper suspended in air. Now we're going to be looking at a video on YouTube. probably don't notice it through the camera but there is a difference between the two the iPad for some reason has a sharper image which the Kindle Fire on the other hand has a more pixelated image also another thing to note the colors on the Kindle Fire HD are more vibrant they're more warmer I should say and the blacks 
seem more truer on the Kendall as well. Alright guys, that wraps it up for the comparison between the Kindle Fire HD and the iPad Mini. Both devices has their strengths and weaknesses, so you guys can decide on which one do you guys really believe is better. Leave your comments below, and have a good day. Subscribe.